Tell you to stop if it goes off the rail. Yeah, I hate to drag those ramps over that extension cord. Maybe I'll disconnect the power to the cabin for a minute. That'd be a good idea. Okay. Don't trip over the table. I'm not going up there. Let me know if you can see me in the rear view mirror. Okay. It didn't go as planned, but it went okay. The concern would be to have a car roll off and hit this pole. I don't think this would have having a flat tire, but so what happened, it would have been fun to have the camera on this side, but the dolly, when it, when it met equilibrium and started rolling, the dolly went up into there and my come along with the chain somehow got itself, the car passed over it and the chain and come along, I think is what stopped the car from rolling back. I was scrambling, I didn't know what to do. There was nothing I could do. I was trying to get to the winch to use the winch, but there's nothing, since it's free spool and you, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna work. So anyways, that went really good. And now I have a second gen Corvair at the, in the Quonset. So that's a great thing. I'll be away so this is like a junkyard. Do you like the red Corvair? I guess the moral to that story is that they will roll with flat tires.
So I'm trying not to do a video on the Corvair. I wanted to try to get it running and then that would be actually a video maybe worth watching. But I just don't know when I'm going to have time to come out and, and make another attempt at getting this car running. Just wanted to do a little outro on it and kind of tell you where it's at. As far as being in the queue, I would say that it's maybe in third place. I really need to get the tractor running and maybe the bug. And then maybe I'll make another attempt at this guy and at least change the oil and do all that. So hopefully this video doesn't make it to YouTube. Hopefully I come out soon enough and do a little more to it and make a video to include all that. But I've decided I want to just keep the videos going out because they just get too long if I try to add everything in. And, and it was a phase in the restoration of this car was getting it out here. And it went not all that smooth because I kept wrapping the dolly up into the wheel well i did it at the house because it was rolling down the street towards the trailer and i did it here because it rolled off the trailer and did not seem to do any damage to the car although it did damage the the little uh the little dolly so i have kind of an idea what i want to do with this car i want to try to get as fat of tires as i can in the back and just kind of hot rod it out with some cool wheels and just make it reliable it's a 110, so it's not going to be a fast car, but I'll try to make it look cool at least. And, and that's kind of my plan. And this one I'll probably get rid of because I have four Corvairs now. And I've got, I mean, I think at the end of it, I'll probably keep my, probably keep the blue Corvair and the other blue Corvair. And I'll probably sell the red one and I'll probably sell the Spider Turbo because I just, I'm not, I've never been into convertibles, but, and that, that Spider's a long way from running because the engine's torn apart. So if it ever runs, that'll be a miracle. But anyways, just wanted to do a quick little outro on the little red Corvair. We will hopefully be working on it soon. Thank you guys. Hope you're having a good day.